I'm Liz, aka Luscious Liz. And we are shooting at the beautiful home of Mr. Jamie Foxx. So we're going to look at the different uses of a beauty dish. A beauty dish is not as soft as a softbox. It's not going to be as hard as an umbrella. It's a wonderful tool to use with, so we're going to look at the different ways we use it in this video. In the studio, we put a target up on the wall. At five feet away from the wall, we aimed our beauty dish and did a series of photographs to see what the spread was like, what the fall off was like. The first image we used is a beauty dish with no tube cover. This is basically a dish with a hard tube in the middle, so it gives you a pretty hard light. I'll use this as a rim light. It covers a large area. Even with the tube cover, it'll cover a pretty large area and not fall off more than a half a stop. Looking at this image, you can see that this beauty dish with no cover over the tube casts a really hard shadow. It really makes for a great light if you want a nice hard rim light. But if you want to get in how much does it fall off from right to left and all that technical data, that will be on the Slanted Lens fan page um, on our Facebook page. So go to that Slanted Lens fan page and you can see exactly how it falls off from right to left and get the meter in. In this image we put the tube cover on. You can see the pattern is just about the same as when we had the cover off. It falls off a little bit more, but uh, you also see that there's some, there's some concentric rings that are starting to form on the wall. What's obvious immediately is the shadow on the back wall is much more diffused than the last image. The light wraps around her face, it creates a, a softer shadow on the wall. It just makes a much different look. This is a very common use for a beauty dish, probably the one that's used the most. You know, now for the fun stuff. I mean, this is the cool stuff to me. I love a beauty dish with the cover on the tube with a grid on the front of the dish because I have a very specific light that I can have a nice hard light, but a pretty light that diffuses a little bit and I can get it in close and just light a particular area. Look at the pattern. You get wrapping in a really controlled area. I mean, the idea is to create small pools of light in a very specific area, but it has cut down our area of coverage tremendously. We can see with our talent, we're getting that same wrapping on the background, but in a very specific area. I think Jamie warms his fountain water. <laughs> Maybe I'll get my wish come true, because I didn't throw a penny in, I threw myself in. We'll see. <laughs> I thought this was really interesting and something we ought to look at. We took the beauty dish, we took the grid off from it, we took the cover off the tube, but we put a 20 degree grid uh, over our tube. You can see the hot spot in the middle where you're going to light your face or some area that you really want to emphasize in the image and then a broad, even source all around it. You can take a look at the background. Our hard shadow is back on the wall, but we have a bright spot on the face. In this shot, we use a beauty dish as our key light. We're going to light her face. We're using the large grid and getting a specific light just to brighten her face. We also added a 40 degree grid on the camera left side to create a rim light on her body. In this shot, we used the beauty dish as a rim light from the camera left side. We took the cover off from the tube. We wanted a large, broad light that will cover a large area evenly. We used that to cover all the water and to highlight it from behind. In this shot, we used the beauty dish as a rim light from our camera left side. We added a medium soft box on the camera right side to light Liz and her face. Then we used ambient light as a fill. You know, it takes more than just one person to make this happen. There was great makeup, there was great clothing. It was just a wonderful combination of location, talent, and talented people behind the camera. Again, this amazing location, this amazing opportunity would not be possible without Mr. Jamie Foxx. So to you, I say thank you so much. Subscribe to the Slanted Lens YouTube channel.